sometimes a good healthy meal is better than any medicine. Good food made with good and healthy ingredients, that will be our goal for today with this new recipe of Tanobak cheese pot. For the water. Pumpkin, most important ingredient in our recipe. We're going to steam the whole pumpkin for 10 minutes before we start. Using this. Alright. Close the lid and wait. While the pumpkin is cooking, prepare the vegetables for the fried rice. Chop the bell peppers, carrots, and onions. And put them aside. Slice the tops of shiitake mushrooms. Chop the beef as well. Alright, the pumpkin is ready. Okay, so we are gonna make the lid by cutting out a piece at the top. Look at that golden color. Okay, we are going to use a spoon to dig out all of the seeds and make the pumpkin into a bowl. Actually, it smells really good. Okay, fire! Oil a frying pan and stir fry diced garlic first. Let's stir fry the whole thing. Before the vegetables are fully cooked, add rice. And corn, peas. After a while, season it with salt and pepper. Add beef and stir fry just a little bit. Oh, you don't have to cook the vegetables and the beef all the way because we're going to cook it one more time inside the pumpkin. Okay, now fill the hollow pumpkin with the fried rice. Just like this. Pack the rice in, pushing it into each side of the pumpkin. Sprinkle some cheese in. Let's put the pumpkin in. Close the lid and wait. Now steam it for 10 minutes inside the big pot. All right, we're done. I'm sure you wonder how it turned out. So let's cut the pumpkin and find out. Isn't this cool? It's like a bread bowl, but made with pumpkin and all the ingredients are super good for your body. The sweet pumpkin is the perfect pairing with the cheesy fried rice. And I'm going to eat it all. Even the bowl. <laughs> Stop it! This is a traditional Korean snack called gangjang or sweet rice puffs. It's really sweet and crispy. I'm going to make tak gangjang or sweet and sour chicken. Trust me, it's really good. One of my favorite Korean food. Mm -hmm. Chop the chicken leg meat into bite-sized pieces. and season with salt, pepper, and a traditional liqueur called Cheongju. If you don't have Cheongju, use white wine or milk. 
The chicken has to really marinate, so give it about 30 minutes. Meanwhile, chop the peanuts into chunks. Pour two cups of flour through a filter to get just the fine grains. This will give you a crunchier finish. Now, add an egg and a cup and a half of water and stir smooth. You don't want this to be pasty, so stir until it's watery. So when you lift your spoon, it should slide off like this. Mix one fourth cup of flour with your chicken. Dust off the extra flour and dip into your cutting mixture. Deep fry in oil, heat it to 170 degrees. Put your fried chicken on paper towels or a sieve to remove excess oil. Now, let's make the sauce. You'll need gochujang or red chili paste, tomato ketchup, soy sauce, and sugar. Stir all of these together in a pan over low heat, making sure it doesn't burn. Now, mix the fried chicken with the sauce. Hey, boy. And now, add the peanuts. Okay. Actually, takangjang is a little bit spicy, but not too much, and it goes great with peanuts. That's definitely my favorite snack ever in Korea.